In this video, I'm going to show you how you can put your videos into custom shapes inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. Now, the first way of doing this is to actually mask the video itself. So as you can see, I've got a video of myself talking to camera. Now, if I wanted to put myself in a circle, I would select the video, go up to the effect controls tab. And if you can't see that, then go to window and make sure this is selected. Then we'll go into opacity and select the create ellipse mask. And as you can see, that is going to mask our video and essentially put us in a shape. Now, if I click out of this, you'll notice the edge is a little bit soft. And that is because by default, there will be a mask feather of 10%. So if we just pull that down, you can see that sharpens up the edge and I'm now in a circle. So from here, if I go to motion, I can move the anchor point to the center of that circle increase the scale and that is going to move around and I now have myself in a circle. So this means I could put myself in the corner for a talking head video or I could increase myself and put this onto a card. So if I had a colored background, I put myself on this card, maybe have something here on the left. That is how I would do that. Now, if I didn't want a circle and I wanted a square or something different, I could just delete that mask. And now I could go into the four point polygon mask or a rectangle slash square. So I could just move these points and again, pull down the mask feather and that is myself in a long rectangle. Or alternatively, if we didn't want a circle or a rectangle slash square, we can go to the free draw bezier and we could draw a custom shape around yourself like this. And there you go, you are now in a custom shape. Again, you could just move the anchor point to the very center of this. So the anchor point is where the action is going to come from the motion. So if I animate the scale, it goes from that anchor point, which is in the center. If it was on the left, so if I move this anchor point to the left and then I increase or decrease the scale, you can see it increases or decreases from that point. So by placing this in the middle, it ensures any animation is always gonna be centered on it like this. Now, rather instead of doing this and masking each individual video, you could create a black video and then put a mask in that. So if we go to new item, black video, press OK, drag that onto video layer two. Now, if we go into effects, search for tint, so T-I-N-T, drop that onto the black video and then go map black to select the black box and select a color of your choice. So let's go for maybe a blue or a nice purple. Now, if we just turn this off for now, Go to opacity, again, free draw bezier, draw a mask around your subject. So where you want to put the shape. Now, when we turn it back on, you can see we have a colored shape on top of the face. However, if we go to the mask again and we select inverted, it means everything inside the mask is going to be flipped. So now everything on the outside has that purple background and everything inside has essentially just disappeared. Think of the purple solid as a piece of paper on a page. And this mask is essentially me getting a pair of scissors, making a hole in the paper. Now, anything we put behind it is going to be visible through this hole or this mask. So this means any changes I make to the video will be visible behind that cut through. So this means I could put this on top of a whole series of videos. I could put this on loads of different clips. I could put this on a transition. It doesn't matter because we're looking through this window to see what is behind. Now, if you wanted to animate this over time, then that's very simple to do. All you need to do is go to the start of the point where you want it to animate, create a brand new keyframe on the mask path. We'll go towards the end of the action and then feel free to just change these points. So if you wanted this to expand, then you could do this. And if we go to the beginning, play this back, you can see that is now going to animate. And this works again for if you are animating directly onto the video footage itself. And if you wanted to speed that up or shorten it, then you can just decrease the gap there and that will speed that up for us. But that is how we animate shapes onto video footage inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.